Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn one of the most popular and iconic bass lines of all time by the incredible soul funk band Chick and the bass line is Good Times from the album Risk. So we are going to learn this bass line like how a piano player should play it. The left hand will take up that duty as you saw in the intro video while the right hand is need, needs to do something. So the right hand could e end up playing a melody or I've kind of pulled out what the piano player has ended up playing in the actual song and we'll do that in the right hand and the left hand will be what the bass guitar is doing. So it's essentially going to be like a two instrument rendition. The bass guitar in your left hand and your chord pattern with a nice lick here and there with some good octave passages in the right hand. So if you have never heard this song before, I suggest you do. It's an incredible song and if you are not so keen on this specific song, even that is fine. This is going to really b boost your hand independence capabilities. And like I always say in my YouTube videos, wherein we have a lot of bass lessons since I'm also a bass player and I love bass lines in general, you'll realize that when you play a bass line on the piano, it's among the toughest things you'll ever do on the piano. They're really, really incredible challenges to to give yourself as an instrumentalist right so let's get cracking before we do just a few things the entire notation for this including my handwritten notes are available and waiting for you on our patreon page for just five bucks a month and if you'd like to bump up that subscription you can even do workshops with me in person regularly monthly and you also get other video resources and learning material so patreon.com slash jason zach is where you could head over and support us it would also be nice if you can hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for regular notifications and you're never going to miss our latest content. So let's get cracking. First of all, with the bass line, it's on a 16th note grouping or a 16th note time division, if you will. So to count it, it'll be nice if you can go 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a though That's how you generally sing out or chant out 16th notes. And the bass line is what we are going to learn first. Then I'll show you the chords with the bass line and then the piano licks, which are very unique to the song. Okay, so the bass line goes pretty much like uh, sort of similar to another one bites the dust, but there's a lot more. Okay, so that's a lot going on. Let me break that down. First of all, three E's at one, two, three. So you can go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Uh. Then at the uh of the four, you need to play another E. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a uh, one E and a uh, one E and a. Uh. On the second bar, you're going to strike at the E of the one. So let's do bar one, sneaking into bar two slightly. One E and a two E and a three e and a four E and a one E and a one E. Okay, E and E and of bar two. Okay. Chika boom, chika boom, chika ba, chika ba. Pa dum, pa pa dum. Okay, then de da 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 de de. Dum dan dan. Pa pa dum, pum 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 pa de de. Okay, so what is happening there? So just on the beat with the and, of course. G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, A. Okay, and the chords for this particular song, if you ask me, are outlined as you could say E minor 7th and then A, A 11th or G over A. Or also look at it as an A 13th or an F sharp minor with an A in the bass. So these are the chords. So E and A are your bass hits or your bass roots or chord roots if you will. And let's walk you through that again. 
Parum pam 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 parara. And these chords or this chord progression and the entire scale in total could be considered as the E Dorian scale, which is E F sharp G A B C sharp D E. It's not E natural minor, which has the flat six. It's not E harmonic minor. Which has a flat six and a raised or a normal seven. Not that it's a natural or a normal six, major sixth, flat seven. Very nice scale for soul and R and B music and even funky music. You'll find the Dorian scale used a lot. So here goes. It'll be bam, bam. Pam 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 pam. Okay, let's get it till there, and then we are going to talk about the A chord and uh, its embellishments. So E E E four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So from the two, it's quite easy. Two and a three E and a four E and a. And a uh, so then the a uh, of the four of bar two will anticipate the four major, the four chord or the four dominant chord, which is what the Dorian gives us. So, bam, bam, pa, pa, dum, pam, 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 pam. One more time, the whole story. Pam 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 pam. So I'm crossing my hand after my thumb with with the middle finger. And there's a double root or double E. So. Okay, and then it goes pam chik pam chik pam. Very similar to how you played E, but then the A would be played. The first A of the A chord will be at the A of the four, just preceding the third bars one. So then the turn 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 dum chik pam pam, and then pam pa pam pa da ti da dum pam pa da ba da ba pam pam pa da ba da ba ba. So three of the A's. Da 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 dum chik. Dum, bum, bum, ba da ba da ba bum. Okay. Dum, chuk, bum, chuk, bum. Bum, ba da ba da ba bum. That's A A F sharp A G F sharp A A A F sharp A G F sharp A. And you come back to A really quickly. Let's get that lick only. Again. So it starts off at the A of the four. So, slowly. And then the last part where he goes, pa da ba da ba, pe do ba do ba. So, pam chik pam chik pam, pa pa di ga da da da, b b e f sharp g. Now this f sharp g is more like a slide. Pa da ba da, pa da ba. He kind of goes pa da pa da ba da, but then he kind of slides it on the guitar. Pa da ba da. But it sounds weird to play just F sharp on the piano, so I'm going pa da ba da ba. So bam, 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 pa da ba 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 de, 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 pa pa da ba da ba ba pa da ba da ba slowly. Da, pa pa da ba 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 de, pa pa, pa pa da ba de ba ba pa da ba da ba da. Okay, now with the chords, there are just two chords you could play and 
kind of it will work for the track so you can play e minor voice like this a kind of a rootless voicing without the e because the root is anyway very prominent in the left hand so hold that down you would kind of play the same chord or you can i like that chord so i'm voicing it as c sharp f sharp a so that's a major with a 13th in there or a major 6th we could look at it as f sharp minor in its second inversion with an a major or a root in the bass so whole thing and that's your b d g in the right hand voicing hold it next the lick let's dive into the lick played by the piano player or the keyboard player now before i come to the lick it'll be if you read sheet music or if you like to use midi we have this waiting for you on our patreon especially my handwritten notes which is also there and that shows you the exact hit points of what i'm playing the chords the voicing and so on and the sheet notation is available as a pdf download so you may want to check that out on our patreon and learn with me because the lick is going to get a bit more specific okay let me now move into the lick and finish our arrangement off of playing good times okay there's a nice kind of a slide a very country idea okay the pam so you whack the chord with the bass at the beginning but instead of holding it as a semi breathe you add this phrase 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a e and of the 3 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a and a, and a and uh, will be you do dg together and then slide that d to e so 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e e of the 4 okay first beat will be the entire chord and you need to hold it with your right hand you can't use the sustain pedal for this song because your bass line needs to be very punchy very staccato and choppy your hands held down there okay now i'm playing the same chord b d g uh and then another lick comes in so let's just do the first chord with the e dorian scoop up if you will and by the end of it all you could kind of hold down an entire e minor 7th with b d e g no pedal pum 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 now at the a we go b and d with an octave so pretty much the same hit points a and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and of the 3 and the e of the 4 okay when you finish the d you can actually hit this or these two with the pedal because you are octaving pedal and you end with this jazzy chord of f sharp minor in its second inversion so holding that down so both the licks together with the two chords e minor 7th and uh, a lick pam 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 bass line da pam octave patte ba pam ba da ba da ba again lick 
double, double, slowly. Right, guys. Hope you found the lesson fun, and I hope you're going to find it useful in your journey to conquer hand independence. Hand independence, like I said at the beginning of the lecture, can happen really well if you can figure out a bass line and then comp it. Figure out a pattern in the right hand, a very unique chord pattern. And there are so many of our videos where we cover arrangements of songs using a lot of the bass lines. I don't. Uh, I, I never simplify the bass when I'm teaching. I always like to start with that because I believe that you can build that as a foundation which already grooves and then the right hand has to kind of play catch up to the left hand rather than the other way around which is what I find a lot with students who start off the piano. The left hand is as important as the right hand but it just has a different role you could say. Right? So the notation again available on Patreon and if you'd like to learn with us in person, if you'd like to subscribe for our workshops, again, you could go to Patreon, check out the different tires which are available there. You can also reach out to Nathaniel School of Music on our website, nathanielschool.com, or you could fill up a form and one of our course advisors will reach you right away. Thanks a ton for watching the video. Cheers. Catch you in the next one.